This presentation will cover how to create and manage sales prices and discounts within Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. Sales prices and discounts are deduced from trade agreements and the presentation will introduce the different discounts that can be expressed with trade agreements and it will discuss trade agreement combinations. The structure of a trade agreement will be introduced while actually create a trade agreement representing a sales price in a product demonstration. Trade agreements are created and maintained in trade agreement journals and the presentation will go through the various functionalities within a journal. Trade agreement policies keeps track on the source of origin for sales prices and discounts. A product demonstration will demonstrate how this information is used to support the user making conscious decisions about pricing and discounting when price and discount condition change. Trade agreements are used to describe prices and different types of discounts. Sales prices are deduced from trade agreements of relation price. These trade agreements are specified for a specific product and the price are given per order line. Line discounts are also given per order line but can be specified for a specific product or a set of products. Multi-line discounts are on the other hand given for an accumulated quantity over all order lines. If the accumulated quantity is within a given threshold then the multi-line discount will be granted. Total discount is given for the accumulated order amount if the amount is within a given threshold. Trade agreements can, besides describing sales prices and different discounts, be defined for one of many combinations of customers and products. Defining how generic the trade agreements can be applied. One trade agreement can be specified for a specific customer, a group of customers, or for all customers. The concept of table group all is used for this purpose, where a table is used to specify a trade agreement for a specific customer, group is used to specify a trade agreement for a group of customers, and all is used to specify a trade agreement to be valid for all customers. The same is valid for the products. A trade agreement can be specified for a specific product, a group of products, or for all products. As an example, all customers would get a 10% line discount if buying more than 100 pieces of product A. But let's take a look at how all this looks like in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. Creating, maintaining and deleting trade agreements is all done in a trade agreement journal. There exist many entries to the trade agreement journal within Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 and one of these places is in the journal group on the sales and marketing area page. Trade agreement journals are stored within a group for convenient recognition and to make it easier to find a specific trade agreement journal. In this example they are stored within one or two groups that are called price or disk. A new journal is created by selecting new, select a group and optional overwrite the default description. The journal is accessed by selecting the line section. The trade agreement journal can include a number of journal lines. Each journal line is either created in the journal or it is a copy of a trade agreement. The created journal line and a modified copy of a trade agreement will first be active as a trade agreement when the journal has been posted. Before posted, all changes to the journal does not impact prices and discounts deduced from trade agreements. The first field on a trade agreement journal line indicates whether or not the journal line has been changed or if the journal line has just been created. Existing trade agreements can be extracted to the journal as a copy and if no changes have yet been done to the line it will not be marked as changed. The relation field indicates if the trade agreement relates to a price or discount and if it relates to sales or purchase. The journal can include both sales and purchase simultaneously if required. Let's select that this journal line should be related to a sales price. The account code defines the first part of the trade agreement combination. 
The option Table Group All indicates if the journal line will be valid for only one specific customer, for a group of customers, or for all customers. Let's select a specific customer and in the account selection specify that this customer is 1101 Forest Wholesales. The item code defines the second part of the trade agreement combination. The option table group all indicates if the journal line will be valid for only one specific item, for a group of items, or for all items. Let's select a specific item and in the item relation specify that the item number is 1000 LCD Television HD Black. It is possible in the following fields to specify that the journal line only should be valid for specific dimensions for the item. All product, storage and tracking dimensions can be used. From and to indicates the quantity threshold where the trade agreement is valid. Only if item 1000 is selected with a quantity between from and to will the specified price be given. From is inclusive and to exclusive and leaving the to field empty indicates that there is no upper bound for the quantity. So from equals zero and two left empty means that the trade agreement is valid for all quantities. This sales price is for less than 100 televisions. The from and to relates to the unit of measure indicated in the unit field. The amount in currency field defines the price in the given currency. Let's set the price for item 1000 to 19.99 US dollar. The include generic currency field will, when selected, permit this sales price to be exchanged into any currency using a dedicated set of exchange rates. The impact is that sales prices can be expressed in any currency just by maintaining sales prices in one currency and maintain a set of exchange rates. The find next flag indicates that the search for a price or discount should continue search for lower prices and higher discounts even if the specific trade agreement is valid. The search will continue and will start look at more general defined trade agreements. This could be trade agreements with less dimension defined and more generic account codes and item code. Let's have a look into the function that can be used within a trade agreement journal. By posting the journal, the journal lines will first be validated and subsequently be effectuated as trade agreements and available when requesting a price or discount. This journal will be posted as a last step in the presentation of the trade agreement journal. The select form opens when selecting the select function. This form provides the user with a flexible and powerful tool to extract trade agreements into journal lines. This is needed when trade agreements must be maintained or deleted. In the relations section, the user selects if the trade agreements extracted into the trade agreement journal should relate to prices, line discounts, multi-line discounts or total discounts, or if it should be a combination of the four. The include generic currency field in the currencies group allows the user not only to extract sales prices in a specific currency but also to include a sales price in the generic currency that could be transferred into the specific currency. The table group all concept applies to the customers on a trade agreement journal line which means that it is possible to specify the journal line for a specific customer, a group of customers or for all customers. But with the include additional relations, it is possible to extract the trade agreements into the journal very dynamic. Say that I want to work with all trade agreements that relate to sales prices for customer 1101 Forest Wholesales. The trade agreements that would be relevant would be the trade agreements that are related to sales prices that were defined specific for the customer, but also the trade agreements specified for the group of customers where the customer were a member plus the trade agreement specified for all customers. This is selected by selecting the include additional relations. Similar will selecting the account code group and the include additional relations extract all trade agreements which is valid for the members of the group. And selecting the account code all and the include additional relations will extract those trade agreement relevant for any customer. The concept of include additional relations also applies to vendors and items. 
the selections done in this example will extract any trade agreement relating to a price for item number 1000. I'm not interested in deleting the journal line already existing in the journal, so I select no. And the result guarantees that there do not exist any trade agreements relating to prices for item number 1000 prior to posting this trade agreement journal. The adjustment functionality is used to adjust the prices and discounts within the trade agreement journal with a percentage, amount and or percentage point. The function applies to all the trade agreement journal lines, which in this example will be only one. Let's try and add an additional 5% to the current sales price. 5% added to 1999 US dollar is 2098 US dollar and 95 cents, which is exactly what is the new amount in currency on our trade agreement journal line. Undesired price endings on a sales price can be the result of an adjustment, which is the case in this example. Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 introduces smart rounding that can be used to control the price endings. Smart rounding are composed by smart rounding rules that define the desired price endings per price intervals and defines intervals for rounding up, rounding down and intervals where rounding is not desired. The rules are defined per currency. Smart rounding rules have been defined for US dollar for this example, where the desired price ending is 99 US dollar. Apply the smart rounding will round the sales price from 2098 US dollar 95 cents to 2099 US dollar, fulfilling the price ending rules defined. The copy line functionality is enhancing productivity. The chance that the next journal line is for the same customer and or item is high. The next journal line might just be for a different set of dimensions or for a different price break. In this case, we will create a new journal line stating that the price per unit is 1999 US dollar when 100 or more of the televisions is requested. The copy and revise functionality is used to make a copy of all journal lines in the journal while change one of more values. As an example, a decision has been made that all sales prices must increase next year 5%. In order to prepare for this increase, a user can use this functionality to make a copy of all relevant sales prices while changing the from and to dates for the created journal lines. Next step is to remove the journal lines related to the original sales prices and then use the adjustment functionality on the reminder. Let's post the journal and thereby create new trade agreements that will be used when sales prices are requested. And let us create a sales quotation that will find our new trade agreement and use this as a sales price. When creating the sales quotation, I select customer 1101 forced wholesales, since the newly created trade agreement was specifically defined for him. The one and only sales quotation line on this sales quotation will be for item number 1000 and for the quantity of 50. Please acknowledge that the unit price is 2099 US dollar, which is what we just specified on a trade agreement and therefore as expected. Customer 1101 Forest Wholesales agrees to the sales quotation and verifies that this sales quotation was won because of price. Confirming the sales quotation creates a sales order. We can use the sales order list page to find and open the sales order to see the details in the sales order details form. The customer might call and request a change to the order. He might get an extra 10% discount that we enter manually on the sales order. The customer might call again next day and ask to decrease the quantity to only 25. This is changing the conditions on the sales order line. The terms that were present when creating and confirming the sales quotation and when granting the extra discount has now changed. The dialog given informs the user of the origin of the price and discounts so that he can make a conscious decision whether or not to keep the price and or discounts that origins from a different document or entered manually, or to reevaluate overriding the current prices and or discounts with the defaults deduced from trade agreements. In this case, I want to reevaluate all.
During this presentation, we have discussed trade agreement combinations and the table group all concept. The demonstration has explained the structure of a trade agreement while actually creating trade agreements representing sales prices. The trade agreements were created and maintained in a trade agreement journal and the presentation went through the various functionalities within the journal. The product demonstration also demonstrated how information were provided supporting that only conscious decision is taken around earlier negotiated and agreed upon prices and discounts when conditions change.